The Sultan of Sokoto has urged Nigerian politicians seeking court redress to accept the election results in good faith and move on with their lives and allow those who emerged winners either by fear or foul means to just get on with leadership and you who lost go home and accept it in good faith. This is coming from the Sultan of Sokoto and I tell you I very very strongly disagree with this. It doesn't align with my thinking at all at this very moment. I will explain myself why I don't buy this opinion but before we do that if you want to hear please do listen to the end of the video like the video subscribe to our channel it helps us to bring you more first of all the sultan of sokoto is a revered religious leader in nigeria head of the islamic faith so he is somebody of a very high spiritual ranking and he said this by the way at the friday uh, Juma service while addressing Muslim faithfuls. So when you stand and you say that you you want justice in Nigeria, you want fairness, people should love each other, you want unity of Nigeria, and then election is conducted and is rigged, and you see that you do nothing. You wait after some time, you turn around and tell those who want to seek redress. Oh, forget it, accept it in good faith, just go on with your life. And I'm looking through his statement to find out the reason why he is asking people to forget this. The only thing I could say is that he's talking of sustenance of peace, unity, and development. He said those seeking redress in court should take the outcome in good faith and support whoever emerges for the sustenance of peace, unity, and development. So they always use this word, unity, peace, uh, development, but what you are doing is completely opposite of what you are talking about. Somebody steals something belonging to another person. Then the person goes to court to seek redress and you say, no, don't go to court. Just accept it in good faith for the peace, for the unity. The person who stole, what do you tell him? Is that person sustaining peace? Is that person sustaining unity? Is the person aiding development of the country? I don't know. The meaning of this statement is baseless. You people make the law. Why do we have courts then? Anything that happens, we should just accept it in good faith and move on. Why do we have courts? What are they for? Why do you spend so much money paying these judges and um, spending money on legal, luminaries, science, and the rest of them? Why don't we just settle everything for the peace of the country, for unity, for development, and then move on with our lives? Whatever happens, happens. You accept it in good faith. But if they remove the sultan today and he's not satisfied with the system, he will head to court. What are the courts for? Oh, those who steal gold from their neighbors, they can jail them for five years, ten years, because they don't have the necessary connections to talk to those in uh, high places who will now plead and ask us, everybody just go home, nothing happened. You don't achieve development in this way. Nigeria will not move one step forward. Can you listen to yourself? The present generation of Nigerians are not interested in rob cosmetic uh, robbing on dirty wound that has stinking. You rub some cosmetic on it and uh, it looks nice, but inside is dirty. 
If somebody rigs election, the sultan should be saying, try the person, stop this. When it is stopped, then the country can move forward. Then there will be peace. Then there will be unity. And that development will come because it is the choice of the people that we want Mr. A to be in a specific position. With all the support, then the Mr. A can bring development. The electorate knows the capacity, the capability of the person they voted for. You don't tell them they vote, somebody comes and steal the ballot box, does all kind of rigging, emerges. You relax. After some time, you tell them, oh, just accept it. I don't know if the Sultan is aware that at least 28 Nigerians lost their lives during this election. I haven't come across where he sympathized or visited any of them. Rather, the ruling party is saying, oh, just 28 people died in this uh, election compared to the one in 2014 where more than 400 people died. So, Nigerians are just figures. You count it, you compare. They, they killed less this time, so it's fine. And those who died this time, nobody cares about them. What is the essence of the court? Why will Nigerians then spend billions on so-called INEC and this, do the stress of um, registering, queuing, getting a voter's card? I mean, the stress of even before you reach the polling booth in Nigeria is so much that anybody who succeeds must have nerve. And after wasting all this money with all the problems, with the killings, with the injuries, the attacks, the all kind of things happening, you say, oh, uh, those who lost, just leave those who won, let them go on and accept your fate. I don't know. This is not acceptable, sir. Simple. Let these things be corrected once and for all. If somebody steals, let the person face the punishment. In Sokoto State, where our lovely sultan lives, there was a young lady murdered for blasphemy by religious fanatics. I don't see the so much role that uh, the sultan played. Those who spearheaded the murder, I don't know if the case is still going on or not. Okay, everything is uh, it's a matter of faith. Let's just move on. The party that say was declared winner said, go to court. The INEC that organized the election say, if you are not satisfied, go to court. People have gone to court. Immediately they went to the court. Everybody is uh, jittery. Everybody is uh, sweating, fidgeting. Oh, stop the case. Why do you want to continue? You did this. You did that. What are we doing? We're just turning round and round and round and we're still at the same spot. This is not how democracy is practiced. There is what they call division the of powers and responsibilities. The security will do their own, the electorates will do their own, the candidates will do their own, the courts have their own duty and responsibility to perform to Nigerians. These set of people can never, ever, ever lead Nigeria to any success. This is hypocrisy at its height. Unfortunately, many Nigerians don't want this anymore. You either correct the wrongs and let the system function, or you might as well forget about it. Well, this is our take on this uh, wonderful advice from the Sultan of Sokoto. We ask you please like the video, share it, subscribe to our channel, and we will bring you uh, very important news next time around. See you in our next update.